You might be looking at mine, but I'm, you I'm should looking talk. at Well, I can't help it. Because <laughs> there was this whole piece in the Sunday Times for, written by your wardrobe lady saying she had to put more and more pieces in the back of your costumes because your bust was just flowering during pregnancy. She said that? Yeah. Oh, wow. Really wait till I get my that. hands on her. Is it true? Well, that's what happens when you get pregnant, isn't it? Mine never, have never gone down again. Really? They two daughters, breastfed both of them, and just never subsided. Really? Yes. Is your husband happy about He's that? He's thrilled. Oh, he good. He says a man could lose himself in them, which is nice. Excellent. Are you finding the same thing? I mean, have they subsided yet? No, I'm still <laughs> breastfeeding. <laughs> well, where, where's the baby? Because you've been here for hours. She's upstairs. Have you been breastfeeding between interviews? Yes. Oh, gosh. Did you find breastfeeding as easy as it's supposed to be? Because I didn't. Yes. Did you actually just latched on immediately? Yes. Oh, I used to kind of have to scrunch my nipple into a thing and then approach perfect strangers and say, could you just hold my breast a minute while I put the baby on? It was kind of a two-handed, three-handed job I used no, to do. No, I think I've just managed on my own quite fine. And is she sleeping through? Because Antonia Bandera says that Stella is a star sleeper and sleeping right through. Well, I'm very jealous. No. Are, you, are you exhausted? Yeah. No sleep. Because, I mean, I, I just don't know how you can bear to do this kind of international junket when oh. the baby's just a couple of months old. Yeah, it's quite difficult, to tell you the truth. Well, how are you stealing yourself to do it? Um, I just keep telling myself it will all be over soon. Do you think she's a jet-lagged baby? Well, yeah, she's on LA time for sure because she's up all night and sleeping all day, so... Sounds like hell. There was a press conference this morning. Mm. You seemed incredibly regal. Mm. I mentioned this to Alan Parker and he said, yes, she has become a leader. You said that? Yes, honestly. Oh. Have you? Um, well, I suppose. I mean, she's dead. But you've become, you are. I mean, you're giving out kind of Grace Kelly type vibes. Really? Yes. Well, I suppose I've matured then. <laughs> <laughs> but you've become very patrician all uh -huh. of a sudden. Well, I'm, I'm a parent. Do you think that's done it? That has something to do with it. And I'm sure, I'm sure the movies had some kind of an effect, but I couldn't tell you exactly what. I mean, you Have know. you become respectable? I think I was respectable before. <laughs> so did you enjoy the premiere in L.A.? Because you looked sort of a bit fed up. Well, it was a scene. It was a scene. Mm. It was, um, there were cameras coming at me from every angle and, and every two seconds there was a microphone in my face and I was a bit overwhelmed, I have to say. It took me about an hour to get down that red carpet. Because Antonio was saying this is the greatest night of my life and you were like, yeah. Well, it, it, was, it was work. It was hard work, I must say. But basically you're very proud of it. Yes, absolutely. Just keep leaning back because otherwise you're going to obscure Madonna in the shot. <laughs> okay. We are going. <laughs> Yeah, Madonna, my God, that would be my greatest <laughs> pinnacle of my career, <laughs>